posting a video you thought would take off only to watch it flop, it's the worst feeling. But what if you never had to waste hours brainstorming ideas that don't work? In this video, I'm gonna be building a workflow that tracks what's trending in your niche. It's gonna break down exactly why the titles and thumbnails work so you can apply it to your own content. It's like having a YouTube strategist working for you 24 seven. And the best part, it's basically free. To get started, we're gonna need three tools. First being NNN, second being Appify, third being Google Sheets. Everybody already has Google Sheets, so I'm gonna leave a link down below to NNN and Appify. Make sure you create an account so you can follow along. The very first thing we need to do is identify our niche. Once we've done that, we're gonna feed that into our YouTube scraper. The things we're gonna need from YouTube is the video publish date, the channel name, the video title, the thumbnail, video view count, and the video likes. After that, we're gonna feed that into our AI. One will be analyzing the thumbnail, the other will be analyzing the title. Once that's done, we're gonna feed all that information back into our Google Sheets so we can have it easy to read and accessible to us. The things we'll need basically what I mentioned before, plus the AI title analysis and the AI thumbnail analysis. Once you've downloaded and edited in, you're gonna go to the dashboard, we're gonna go to create workflow. The first thing we need to do is set a schedule for this workflow. I want this workflow to execute every Sunday at noon. So I'm going to select on schedule interval. We're going to go with weeks, Sunday at noon. Okay, first step done. Next, we're going to pick our niche. Hit the plus sign, type in edit fields. Okay, once you have that, I'm going to name this niche. And then in the value for this example, I'm going to go with artificial intelligence. I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> Let me double check if I spelled that right. Yeah, it looks good. So think of this as a transfer of data. If I execute this, we're basically transferring information to the next thing. So we have one item here. And we want to feed that into our scraper. To do that, you're going to hit the plus sign again, and then you're going to type in HTTP request and then select this one right here. And then we're going to go to Appify, which is our scraper. So you're going to open a new tab and then type in Appify.com. Um, if you haven't already, create your account. I already have one, so I'm not gonna show that step. You're gonna type in YouTube scraper here. The one we want is the one from Streamer. Select that, hit try it for free. You will get $5 credit that is replenished monthly, which is really good. And that's plenty, to be honest. Once you're here for the search term, I'm gonna type in placeholder because you'll know why later. Placeholder, I'm right, gonna scroll down. For the number of videos you wanna search, 10 is a good number, but you can do less or you can do more, up to you. The next thing I like to do is go to date range, hit relative, and I like to go with the last two weeks or 14 days. So basically, we only want videos that have been posted within the last two weeks. But you can do whatever you want. This is just what I like to do. So next, go to add filters. and I'll I like to sort it by view count because I only want the videos with the most views. You know what? I'm going to go back and decrease the number of videos because it's only two weeks. So let's go with the top three videos. Okay. So once you have everything selected, hit save, and then we're going to go back up here, go to JSON, and then copy everything here. You're going to go back to your edit end, hit send body, make sure this is selected as JSON, then go to using JSON and paste that JSON here. Okay. And I'll explain what I'm doing later on in this video. But the next thing we have to do is we have to give NNN permission from Appify to access the data. So to do that, we're going to head over to Appify again and hit API, go down to API endpoint. And then you're going to go to run actor synchronously and get data set item. Copy this whole thing. And then you're going to go back here, select this to post, and then you're going to paste that URL there. Okay. Then you're going to go down. You're going to open this tab after you've selected expression, open this, enlarge it. And you remember when I hit placeholder, it's right here. We're going to delete that because we're going to drag in this from our left side, right in between the quotation. Okay. So if you look on the right side, it says artificial intelligence. If it looks the same on your end, that's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and test this step. And if you look over to our scraper, you can see that it's running. So it's starting to crawl and it's active. So that took a little bit over than one cent to do. And now we have three items on this side. So three videos. You can set it to however much you want. If you want to increase the number of videos, go back to your Appify and then go to input and then just increase it here. Right now I have it set as three and that's exactly how much I got back. Now we have a bunch of information from YouTube on this right side here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the thumbnail, right? So let's analyze this thumbnail. Let's see if this is the correct link. I'm going to hover over it, right click and just go to it. And let's see, we've got a thumbnail. Wow. Alrighty. So next step, we're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to, I think OpenAI has a image analyzer let's, right here. Analyze image. All right. The first thing you're going to do is create an account. So hit create account. You're going to need an API key. So go over to open AI API key. Open that. You're going to log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to go over to um, the gear icon over here and then you can go over to billing. 
because you need to add five dollars all right just add five dollars that's all you need it's lasted me over six months already so that's all you need then you're gonna go to you're gonna stay on the gear icon and then you're gonna go over to api key then you're gonna select create new api key give it a name blah 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 create the key copy that don't show it to anybody paste it here hit save and you should be good to go leave everything else you're gonna select the model go with the 4.0 latest now we're gonna add a prompt so go ahead and in text input delete that and i'm gonna paste in my prompt that i had earlier i'm gonna show it to you guys so here's the prompt you are a youtube thumbnail strategy expert your task is to analyze a given thumbnail image and explain why it grabs attention and drives clicks here's some additional things i wanted to keep it concise you guys can copy this if you want or customize it to your liking on your strategy for now this is what i'm going with let's move on exit out of this now we're gonna have to paste our thumbnail url the one that we tested out that worked this one right here so drag that over and we want to add a few things so deselect that select detail change that to high and then for the length let's go with 50. we're gonna test this step we have an analysis right over here and we have three of them which is good all right let's move on all right let's exit out of this just go back to canvas we're going Going to add another AI node so we can analyze the title. So let's go to OpenAI again and actually let's go to AI, go back, go to AI agent, hit that. We're going to define below and we're going to put in another prompt, hit expression. Let's enlarge it. I'm sorry, I've got to put on my glasses because my eyes are getting fried. Uh, so we're going to paste in our prompt that I created earlier. I'm gonna read the overview. You are an AI agent specialized in YouTube growth strategy and high performing titles. Your task is to analyze YouTube video title and extract one to three power words or short phrases that likely contribute to its clickability and emotional pull. I've got a few objectives here with some examples and I explain exactly how I want the output to be formatted. So you guys can copy this or you guys can kind of create your own and customize it to your strategy. All right, after that, we're gonna exit and then we're gonna have to add a chat model. Hit the plus sign down there. Let's go with OpenAI chat model. And you should be connected already since you connected to a, uh, OpenAI earlier with your API key. So connected to that account, then select 4.1 mini. It's cheap and it works great. Okay, once you've done that, let's test this step. Hit execute. Oh, whoops. I missed one vital step. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit add option. We're gonna select system prompt. We're going to open this one back up, copy this again, paste that one down here. You don't really need to hit expression, but I, I do it just because. And then we're gonna delete this one because this is where we were supposed to feed in our title. I'm gonna type in YouTube title colon, and we're gonna look for that on the left side, right at the top here, title. Let's drag it over. Let's try it again. Boom. There you go. Three items. If you look at table, you, you'll be able to see all three items. So we have all of our power words in the title. Beautiful. All right, let's move on. Actually, let me go back. Let's pin this data. Basically, we're just saving that data so we don't have to continue to run this node again and again. I'm going to do the same with this one. Okay, let's pin that data. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to merge everything. So type in merge. We're going to combine by position. There's just going to be two. Let's see. Alrighty, let's execute. Did it work? Did it work? We have, okay, Check choices. Let me see. So sent that over. It sent all this over. Okay, so we have the thumbnail analysis. Where is our, okay, and this is our title analysis. So now we can feed everything back into Google Sheets. So hit the plus sign here and then type in Sheets, Google Sheets, and then we're going to append a row in the sheet. If you don't have an account, just go ahead and uh, click in, sign in with Google, pretty simple. Then we're gonna go down to from list. You're going to choose a document. But before you do that, let's create that Google Sheet. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, we're going back. So you're going to create a brand new Google Sheet document, right? Title it, whatever you want. Just don't forget it. And then these are the tabs that we're going to need or the uh, columns that we're going to need. So just pause this video and go ahead and create these columns. I'm going to delete this one because we don't need that. Let's see. Delete column. Okay. All right, going back to our edit end. Now we should be able to see that Google Sheet. So it's going to be YouTube niche research. And then from the sheet, I think I titled it sheet one. I left it. Okay. All right. So now we're going to have to manually map everything. So let's find all the information that we need. Video publish date. You're just going to scroll on the left side until you find that. It's probably in the HTTP request. It will be in the HTTP request node. If your view doesn't look like this, make sure you select schema. Then you're gonna hover down to HTTP request, hit that one, you should be able to find some data. So the date here, I'm gonna drag it over, channel name, let's look for it, channel name. There it is, video title, there it is, thumbnail, there it is, the URL for view count. 
there it is then we need like count where is that like count like count there it is likes put that in there ai title analysis let's go back to our merge and then we will find a title analysis where is it down here the truth artificial intelligence ChatGPT. okay drop that in there and then for the thumbnail analysis it's this one so drag this one over okay now when we execute this it should populate all into our um google sheets all righty it's all done let's check over at the google sheets all right wow beautiful okay we have some data the date channel name video title right uh thumbnail let's test it out yep it works then we have our view count we have our like count title analysis thumbnail analysis so this is going to be set up on autopilot and it's going to be doing research for you in your niche every week every day whatever you set it to stay on top of your topics give your videos the best chance to go viral if you want to see a video on how to spy on your top competitors and have AI analyze their thumbnails and titles, check out this video right here. And if you can do me a huge favor, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel.